Makeup therapy. Welcome to the makeup therapy. I'm Manuela. I'm a 40, 40 years old uh, makeup lover who using uh, makeup as a therapy even when the house is wild. I will be using today the uh, retro uh, by Carol Carolina Gentek uh, palette from Glam Shop Poland, and uh, the palette is very pretty. It's inspired by Hollywood, and um, I crushed it a little bit, but you know I have it some time, and uh, um, it looks like that. So I'm just making a quick quick get ready. I'm going today um, with my girls to a little shopping and I was thinking that maybe I will record it as uh, uh, this palette. Uh, I made like something like shop my stash. I put some palettes which have uh, wintery for me team and uh, I want to use them in that uh, cold month. So it was not like monthly but maybe more like season. Uh, I pulled them, I think in November, and with the hope that I will use more, more makeup than the previous months. And um, I'm using two base, P. Louise O3 uh, and uh, white uh, base from um, Beauty Bay on the front. So it's kind of, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and uh, I mix them together, and it's a kind of. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's working for me. I hope that you guys have a very lovely day. And uh, enjoy my... I don't know what I will do with this palette. <laughs> but I want to show you because it's very pretty. And I really like this artist, um, Carolina Zientek. She is really gorgeous. She does... Um, um, Professional makeup. She was winning awards uh, makeup um, as a makeup artist, and she's really talented. She can do kind of. Uh, she's doing funny things like uh, really interesting art artwork, and she also likes to renovate the uh, old uh, furniture, and she collecting old Hollywood items, like old, really old uh, originals from the cosmetic industry. So like very first powder of Max Factor, stuff like that, she, she has collection of this and <clears throat> it's really a source of uh, information, she's, she's doing the, um, well, her channel is in po Polish, which I'm speaking. <laughs> and. Um, she does uh, very interesting content about that old cosmetics. So all of her shades was um, um, named by uh, by divas of Hollywood, and the light shade here called Merlin. I'll start with this one. I'll just set this area because it's a day and a little bit bright, maybe. So it will be day. Especially the outer part, if you see. And uh, yeah, so it's very interesting to see how this stuff changed. How the packaging are so poor now. Is that it was just a really piece of art? You had that powder, but the powder was it's a piece of art, really. Now these days, is everything is fast, so people want to sell more, and they just stop paying attention of those things that much, like used to. Um, mm, Personally, I wish to go to see the, the, the rooms of uh, Max Factor and I'm using his uh, his name, <laughs> company, powder from his, his company and, and uh, it's just very interesting how this concept, you know, go on with him and how he was able to succeed. Very cool. And it's cool that it's still with us. Uh, the brand yes. very, very interesting and very cool to know when you like a little bit of makeup so I do I hope that you'll see um, so I'm just trying to like you see what I'm doing better because I don't have perfect setting mm. Mm. but I'm trying <laughs>
so this is not an extra super look i have very beautiful uh, uh, box with goodies i want to do separate video about it maybe later on but for now i'm just getting ready i don't know what video will be first but i have uh, i got the delivery from some angel sinners and yeah uh, my shopping part and also some extra I can call it PR and uh, very pretty <laughs> I'll show you all I will show you all and not leave you without the without not knowing what was into the box I will share with you the details <clears throat> hope you're interesting with it I'm looking obviously for perfect brush <laughs> As usual, mm, I'm so laughing on myself really every time I'm doing this. Now, even whatever, regardless, I'm, I'm I'm recording or not, regardless, I'm recording or not, I'm laughing well every time I'm looking for the brush because it's, it's really annoying. I'll use this one for sure. And uh, where they are? Mm. Okay, something like so. I like some small-ish. Um, and I think that I will go with the, with the green. Green is Elizabeth. And it's like velvet, it has some sheen, you know. But it's okay, it's like not that um, super matte. It's like velvet. She was saying that she wants that it to look like a velvet sofa. Uh, when she created this palette and show to the world. Oh. It's going oh, very nice. I hope that you see the color well. Let's say that here is questionable. So in this uh, this month we will have a I will have a collab with the uh, Beauty Over 40 and a collab with uh, with Keep It Real Fun group, which I'm exciting. And that will be in coming weeks. And I don't know when, but we're going to start probably from February with the new planning project. Which I'm exciting too. The planning project which will be teaming another movie. And quotes from that. So, I'm gonna hope I will s pronounce everything well, <laughs> so you can understand me. <laughs> so it's like that. Very pretty shade, and it's like... Uh, really green with a hint of blue and I like that shade so much I like this I like it this mm. okay we have this we have this another small brush please Now I'll go to the um, Audrey. This is true not. this so I will go back to the green <clears throat> quickly look at like here a little stronger I 
this is like it's really like a sofa <laughs> simply cute nothing special um i think that will crash with this uh, gorgeous shimmer but i will take uh, maybe maybe Greta, this one, and I'll do under, or maybe just black. Oh, black, let's go for black. And Bridget is black. Bridget, and Bridget, but no. Fairly monochromatic. Okay. Mm. I will use also this shade here, which is Debbie. This one. And this shade will go also here. It will help me to make my eyes look a little bit more sexy. <laughs> this, that's what we believe. The not too far, not too close, just fine. And now I'll take some applicator for maybe not this one, but one of those. Take this applicator <clears throat> to know how, how dry they are, you know. I have this palette for some time. And I know that this is soft. Blumbling. Let's get a touch of blum. I have fallout which I created by my clumsiness and the shade is very crumbly <laughs> the 
poslouchal jsem stranu. Very simply, very um, easy, daily, everyday nonsense I did, but I push um, um, this, pa uh, this palette, like, um, I push it like it was used, which is good, we have uh, one less, Just, I will use my favorite um, liner from Kiko. Maybe I will still use this palette a little bit. Take a bigger brush, I'm thinking. And I will go back to this shade Debbie. Just this caramel. I'm thinking that I will kind of extend this side a little bit. Not quite 50 50. It's more like on the edge of blending. Mm, I think that it's kind of more together and more me. Okay. I'll do a face complexion and I'll show you how I finish it. <clears throat> so, this is my um, final look. Uh, use a foundation from Makeup Forever and a blush from Lenny Luminoso, a Miracle Veil from uh, Next Factor, which I mentioned today, a Beauty Bay Eyeliner uh, for my lips, and Glam Shop Liquid Lipstick. And Glam Shop from Advent Calendar, so I don't know what they have there. Mm. And the highlight and bronzer coming from the Miss Klaus. I want to use this palette as much in the winter. I hope that you enjoy a little time with me. I wish you the very best. I know that I will drop this in the video with my haul and then I will have some swatches. So if you're interested to see what I got from San Andreas, please keep on watching the next one. And meanwhile, I love you and wish you the best. Bye!